welcome to a Spree 2017 Enhanced Stock Automation Tips and Tricks video. I'm Chris Delwich, an Applications Engineer with DP Technology, and today I'm going to show you the power of stock automation in a Spree 2017. When creating a facing operation, you can simply select the face in which you choose to machine and apply your operation. Here you will notice a chain feature has been generated automatically. This will define the position of the operation's work plane. You will also notice three settings in stock automation, no, trim, and yes. No will generate toolpath based on the user settings in the operation. Keep in mind this operation is not totally stock aware, so adjustments may need to be made accordingly. Trim is similar to our previous stock automation where your feature defines the boundary, toolpath that is air cutting is eliminated, but it is up to the end user to control most of the operation parameters. By setting stock automation to yes, The current state of the solid will define the boundary for cutting passes, as well as calculate the overhang percent of the tool, overhang direction, lead in, and lead out distances. Lead in will be calculated internally to enter the stock boundary from 100 thousandths of an inch or three millimeters. The lead out for the last pass will be 50% of the tool diameter. I've created some features and loaded in some process files saved previously. Here we will look at pocketing operations to see how our enhanced stock automation works with closed features. Stock automation will automatically take into account material removal for all preceding operations when your program is updated. When stock automation is set to trim, you can see the toolpath has been updated to remove air cutting. However, our retract moves are measured from the top of the feature. On pocketing operations, the starting depth, retract for eye depth, retract plane, and open pocketing parameters are hidden from user selection while full stock automation is enabled. When stock automation is set to yes, our retract moves are now being referenced from the bottom of the stock. That's it for today's video. If you've enjoyed, please subscribe to our newsletter or share this video and make sure to stay tuned for other tips and tricks. Thanks.